Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another 10 pens currently inked in this pen tray today. So I think let's just go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore in the Volcano. A Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore in the Blue Galaxy. A Scribo Phil in the Verde Prato, a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl, Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue, a Pelican M800 Grand Place, a Pelican M800 World Gold Warden, a Scribo Phil in the Verde Bosco, a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the Caribbe, and a Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the sand. So let's look at these pens in a little bit more detail. This is a really beautiful volcano version of the Ferrore. And this is a material that really does speak to me. Now the Ferrores are not a limited edition. These are the entry level pens for Leonardo but they still pack a punch. They come with a really lovely material and you can see this in the Volcano. It comes with a steel nib and this one has a steel broad nib there, but this uh, comes with a, uh, an ABS plastic feed as well. They're cartridge converter pens, but they really uh, are a great size and weight. So these are pens that I do like writing with a lot. So I have that one inked up. And then I have the Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore in the Blue Galaxy. And again, this is another one that I absolutely love. This is a beautiful, beautiful material there. This Blue Galaxy really does shine. And again, uh, these, these are not limited edition. They are entry-level pens, but they pack a punch. This one, again, has a broad nib. And this is a really really good writing nib so for me that is a another pen that i have inked up this week and then i have also this scribo fill in the verde prato and these are limited edition uh, there were only 219 of these that were made but these are really really beautiful pens they are hourglass shaped pens uh, with a facet going on there but these are beautiful pens and I like these also more so for the 14 karat gold flex nib there and it's a medium nib and these are nibs that are the same as the OMAS OM81 nibs so these are beautiful writers with quite a bit of flex to them. Now going from a flex nib to what is essentially quite a rigid nib and that's the nib of the Pelican M800 series. This is a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl and this is a beautiful material. I love it a lot. A lot of people don't like it that it has a lot of dark areas in. There was a lot of controversy around the release of this pen because everybody saw effectively this picture that from Pelican and then when the pen dropped suddenly that's all they saw. So a lot of people don't like that and quite a few people, or quite a lot of people did return their pens. Now this comes with a Pelican M800 broad nib on this one. I do like it. I, I love how these Pelicans write. They may be more stiffer nibs but they are consistent and I do like those broad nibs more. And then likewise I have the same Pelican M805 but this is in the vibrant blue and this is a beautiful material here it's almost like a cracked ice blue effect and it really is stunning and I'm glad I was able to pick this up when I did a UK pen retailer had one available and uh, I'd been looking for a while and I just completely missed that he had one so I was able to pick this one up it has an 18 cat gold broad nib on there but again, these pens do write well. And then I have inked up the Pelican M800 Grand Place. And I love this brown and blue sort of swirly pattern that's going on in this pen. 
Uh, I was able to pick this up. Uh, I wanted it before the London Pen Show uh, in 20... I want to say 18? I think it was 18. Uh, might have been 17. I think it was 18. And the prices on these pens were high because they are a sold out model and I saw a couple of retailers that had them and then those two retailers were at the London Pen Show uh, and unfortunately their prices had then increased so I decided I wasn't going to buy it and it wasn't meant to be but then after the Pen Show I actually saw one of the retailers had actually dropped their price uh, so I then bought it at the reduced price so I'm really glad that I was able to pick this one up and this comes with again another broad 18 karat gold nib from Pelican and I also have this one, and this is the Pelican M800 Royal Gold Rarden. And this is a beautiful pen. It's a Rarden pen. All of these gold strips are Rarden material. Uh, it wasn't a cheap pen, like most of the Pelican Rarden pens. Uh, and I deliberated for quite a while whether or not I would pay this money to get essentially what is a Pelican M800. But I decided I would and I bought it and I'm glad that I did. And again, this has a Pelican M800 broad nib there. But this is, again, a really lovely writing pen. So I do love that a lot. And then, inked up, we have another Scribo feel. And this is the Verde Bosco. And again, limited to 219 pens in this trim, this color, in 2019. 219, hence 2019. Um, I'm sure that Scribo probably could have made 2019 of these, but that would have been probably a tall feat for them to do, being a small company. And they probably wouldn't have been able to have made other pens. But this is a beautiful pen. I love this resin. I love the facets. I love the hourglass shape. But more so, I love that 14 karat gold flex nib. And that with the ebonite feed is just beautiful. It writes really, really lovely. And then I have this Leonardo. And this is the Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the Caribbean. And this is beautiful material. You can see there the, the Caribbean waters, the luscious green with the blue all coming through on that pen. Now, this is a numbered edition. It's not a limited edition, but it's number 25. And then you'll see here it has a fine steel nib uh, with an ebonite feed, but that is quite nice and I do like these pens in the size of my hand they really are a good size good weight and good length uh, and and I like I just love them and what put me onto the grande initially was this pen and it's the Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero Grande in the sand and this is a beautiful material I've seen it also referenced as the spaghetti or spaghettio because they look like spaghetti strands there but this is a beautiful material and again this is a steel nib it is a medium nib but it writes beautifully well and I really just adore the size and weight of these grande pens they, for me they are just perfect in size uh, and and I just love writing with them so that one is also inked up this week so I think with that let's go and do a writing sample so the first pen we have is a Leonardo Ferrore in the Volcano so let's do an ink swatch you can see this is quite a wet pen so this is the Leonardo Ferrore in the Volcano. It is a broad steel nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot Iroshizuku Kirisami. 
but that is a beautiful sort of grey ink and then we have the Leonardo Officina Italiana Ferrore in the Blue Galaxy so again we'll do an ink swatch and just look at that it's quite a wet nib as well so this is the Leonardo Ferrore and it's the Blue Galaxy and again in a broad steel nib and then the ink in here is Blackstone and it is Sydney Harbour Blue Again, I, that's another ink that I do like quite a bit. And then we have a Scribo fill in the Verde Prato. Again, we'll do another ink swatch. And this is the Scribo fill in the Verde Prato and it's a medium 14 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Pilot Eroshizuku Chikurin but that again it is a, is a lovely green for me the next pen is the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is a broad nib, so it's a Pelican M805, and it's the Ocean Swirl in a broad 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is diamine marine which I actually think is actually a good sort of color for that pen and then we have the pelican m805 in the vibrant blue so again we'll do an ink swatch and you can see that this is a very very wet writing board nib so this is the Pelican M805, and it's the, let's say ocean, it's the vibrant blue, and it's a broad 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Diamine as a blue, which is a very dark blue but not a blue black. And then we have the Pelican M800 Grand Plus. So we'll do another ink swatch. And again, you can see these Pelican board nibs are actually quite wet. I do like the way that they write. So this is the Pelican M800 Grand Plus and it's a broad 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Jehaban Li Dete. The next pen is the Pelican M800 Royal Gold Varden. So we'll do another ink swatch here. And again, this is quite a wet nib. It's the Pelican M800 Royal Gold Warden. And it's a broad 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Pilot Eroshizuku. And it's inner. Ho. 
that is a very nice sort of goldy coloured ink. The next pen we have inked up is the Scribo Fill in the Verde Bosco. So again, we'll do another ink swatch. And this is another wet nib. I do like my wet nibs. I like wet nibs and I cannot lie. So this is the Scribo Fill in the Verde Bosco and it's a medium 14 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is Akamon Bazurden Wood Gron which is one of my favourite green inks. The next pen inked up is the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande in the Caribbean. So we'll do another ink swatch. Now this is a finer nib, but it's still very, very wet. So this is the Leonardo and it's the Momento Zero Grande and it's the Caribbe and it's a fine and it's a steel nib and then the ink in here is Robert Oster fire and ice but that is a lovely writing pen and then last but not least the pen that put me onto these Leonardo Grandes it's the Leonardo Officina Italiana Grande and this is the sand version so we'll do an ink swatch And this is a lovely purple ink. So it is the Leonardo Momento Zero. Momento Zero. And it's the Grande. And it's the Sand. And it's a medium steel nib. And then the ink in here is Leonardo Purple, which is a beautiful purple ink that I do love a lot. So I think let's just go through these pens inked up one more time. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore in the Volcano with a broad steel nib inked up with Pilot Washizuku Kirisami. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Furore in the Blue Galaxy with a broad steel nib inked up with Blackstone Sydney Harbour Blue. We have a Scribo Feel in the Verde Prato in a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Uroshizuku Chiku Rin. We have a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl with a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine Marine. We have a Pelican M805 Vibrant Blue in a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with Diamine as a blue. We have a Pelican M800 Grand Place and this is with a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with J. Haban Lee Dete. We have a Pelican M800 Royal Gold Warden in a broad 18 karat gold nib inked up with Pilot Orochizuku in a hoe. We have a Scribo Fill in the Verde Bosco in a medium 14 karat gold nib inked up with Akamon, Bazood and Woodgrown. We have a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in the Caribbe in a fine steel nib inked up with Robert Oster Fire and Ice. And then last but not least we have a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in the sand with a medium steel nib inked up with Leonardo Purple. So there you have it. That's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.